So, hello. This is a part two video about house sitting. Now, in my last video, I talked about house sitting and what it is. So if you don't know what house sitting is, you may want to go and watch that video. I'll put a link somewhere in the description. I don't know how to do that thing where you put a link. But anyway, I'll put a link somewhere. So today I'm talking about Trusted House Sitters, which is the platform I use for house sitting. And how to join, which there are some tips, it's not as straightforward as you might think, and um, how to get your first house sit. So this is more for the house sitter. So what exactly is Trusted House Sitters? So Trusted House Sitters is a website and a mobile app that you can download for your, for your phone or iPad. And it's where homeowner and pet sitters find one another. Now it's a free exchange. The homeowner or the house sitter gets free accommodation and then the homeowner gets free pet care and their home looked after for free. Both parties pay an annual fee and then they put up a profile and details about themselves. Obviously for the pet sitter it's a lot about themselves and their experience as a, and um, you know, showcasing themselves as a potential pet sitter. For the homeowner, it's going to be um, some information about the house, about the um, location, and then obviously details about sit itself and the pets and the responsibilities and everything. So it really is that simple. It's just like a peer-to-peer -peer exchange, you know, economy exchange type site. Now there are obviously other house sitting websites. I prefer Trusted House Sitters because it's one of the largest and it means it's got it's got um, the most amount of house sitters on any other house sitting website out there. Some of the disadvantages, maybe, to some people is that it costs, I think it's probably the most expensive one for the annual fee as well. For me, that's not a disadvantage. I like the fact that both house sitter and pet sitter have to pay an annual fee. Um, I feel like both parties take it a little bit more seriously and they've both got some skin in the game. I mean, we'll look at the pricing in a minute, but um, you easily get back your um, membership fee, what you're getting in terms of what you had to pay for an annual fee. And I feel like it's the same for the homeowner. If you had to, because there are paid house sitting, you know, the house sitting can be done paid as well. So if you look at what you'd have to pay for a house sitter, I feel that the annual fee is easily recouped. So um, some people also think because of the sheer number of house sitters, it's harder to get a sit but then to me it kind of balances out because there's also a large number of um, sits so yeah anyway as I say it's my preferred choice I think in the comments before when I've done house sitting videos people have um, mentioned house sit match which I have been a member of because I want a year's subscription but I never actually Got, did a house sit from on, on that site. Oh, the other reason why, and it's not to say that the others are terrible or anything, but it's my, because Trusted Sitters is my preferred one, it's the one that I choose to pick because I do feel you've kind of got to just choose one and stick with it because reviews and past house sit, sit so people can see what you've done um, and see your reviews are very important. So if you belong to more than one site, one, you're paying two annual fees, or say you just one year you do one site and another year you do another site, so you're only paying one annual fee, your reviews are gonna be spread out over sites. So you could have done five house sits with one site, but then on another site, you've only got one review because you've only done one. Anyway, you get the drift. Basically, I don't think you want your reviews all spread out and watered down over several sites. So when I talk about Trusted House as, as my preferred, it, 
obviously it's my preferred, but it's because I kind of have to pick one and stick with it. Um, so you may want to think about that. But as I said, house sit match, lots of people have, um, I know lots of people that that's their preferred one and are really happy with it. Obviously their annual fee, I believe is a bit cheaper. Oh, I'll put a link below and a code because they are for Black Friday. I think this, I hope this video goes out in time. Are doing a deal, so I'll put the code in for that. I think it's 50% off. The other thing about Trusted House it is, is you can just join. You can um, just put in your email address and your name and get a little free membership so that you at least can see what house sits are available. And then if you do find one that you, you're interested in, you can then pay and join. Although you'd need to be quick. So if you're quite You'd need to you'd need to you'd need to get that done pronto because the house sits do come on and go off very quick. We're going to go into that. So let's go. Let's talk about the memberships. Right. So let me get the um, uh, website up on here and have a look. Now there are three tiers of membership. And in the past, I always just used to suggest to people to go for the basic membership. Oh my God, I don't know if I can finish this video. I might have to continue this another day. I have just got some news and oh my God, I'm gonna, I don't know whether to cry, laugh. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I can, oh my God. Sorry, and the sun's coming in now as well. Let me try, and because I got it, let me just move this a bit because the sun's coming in. But, oh my goodness, I'll tell you about it. I'll, obviously, I'm going to tell you about it uh, another day, but, oh my God, let me try and concentrate. So, I want to... Um, oh my God. You are not, you are not going to believe it. For the, I'm sorry. For those of you that have been here for a while, oh God, you are not going to believe what what the message. I, oh my God, you're not going to believe the message I've just got. I don't think I oh, just pull yourself together, woman. Pull yourself together. Right, where was we? Trusted house sitters. So, trusted house sitters now have three tiers of membership. In the past, I always would have suggested you just go for the basic. However, it's not that straightforward because it depends where you want to house sit and it depends, um, yeah, where you want to house sit. Let me get them up. By the way, I've also got a discount for this, 25% off, and that's not a Black Friday thing. Anytime you use my link, it's 25% off. And just a side note, don't ever pay the full price for trusted house sitters because everybody, whether pet sitter or homeowner, gets a refer a friend code and it gets your friend 25% off. So even if you don't use mine, don't pay full price, find someone else that's a member of Trusted House Sitter and use their code. But I'd be very grateful if you could use mine because then I get two months three membership as well and then you get your 25% discount, just like house sitting, it's win-win. Thank you in advance if you do. So, there's free memberships, there's basic, there's standard, and there's premium. So basic, you just obviously get to search for house sits and apply. Do your profile, see all the house sits that are available. For the standard, you get um, free video calls and online chat with the vets when pet sitting. With the standard, you do still have access to a 20, um, phone access to a 24 hour emergency vet hotline but you just don't get the video calls obviously oh my god that's the message isn't no just concentrate um you also get instant alerts and unlimited saved searches now this has changed because i thought i was going on to trusted house sitters and seeing house sits and thinking why didn't I get a notification for that? That's because with the basic, you don't get the notifications when you save your search. You have to manually go on and search. Whereas with the standard and the premium, you get these alerts. 
The other thing you get with the standard and premium is dedicated member support. And you also get accident and third party liability protection. Now with the premium, you get obviously all the things you get in the standard, but you also get a SIT cancellation, a SIT cancellation insurance and two global airport lounge passes. So why I, oh, and you also get a little badge on your profile that says you're a premium member. I think it's got a little crown on it or something. Now, the reason I say it depends is if you are just planning, say you live in the UK or you live in the States and you're not planning on, obviously the States is very big, but you're planning on, I mean, if you live in the UK, it's very small. You can get up and down the country quite easily. In the States, maybe you just want to house sit in your state or your local area. So if that's the case, then obviously you don't need the airport lounges and you don't necessarily need the sit cancellation because obviously the sit cancellation is for if you are international or if you are in another country or if you are a long way from home, you've booked a sit, they then cancel. You've obviously got to pay for a hotel or an Airbnb. Um, so you need that that um, insurance. If you're just planning on sitting locally or house sitting in the UK where you could get back home if you needed to or you may not have even probably not even left if the um when the house sits cancelled you don't do that so this is sorry you don't need that so this is why I say it depends um also if we look at the amount of sits in the UK there are 3,200 sits at this moment. In Portugal, there's only 54. So again, this is why I say it depends. If you are looking for a sit in Portugal, you are probably going to want the standard membership or, or somewhere like Portugal that has less sits. Sorry, I'm talking about Portugal because I'm in Portugal and then also... I'm from the UK, so I'm talking about UK and Portugal. But as I said, you can do that little free membership and just have a look at what's available in your country or your area. So if you are house sitting in Portugal and there's, a, I mean, 54 is quite a lot, actually. Often I'll go on there and there'll probably be the average of about 10 sits that's available. Um, yeah, 54 is quite a lot. Um, obviously, we're coming up to Christmas, and that's another point, but we'll get to that. So, so we're we're at the end. We're in the middle of November. So, obviously, there's Christmas sits. Fifty four is quite a lot. If you're going on to trusted house sitters and doing a search, and there's only ten house sits, you're probably going to be too late. We'll talk about that as well in a minute. Um, to secure those sit to get your application in and secure those sits before other people have already done it because they've got their alerts on. So you are probably then going to need the standard or the premium membership. That's why I'm no I'm no longer suggesting the basic. However, if you say are in the UK, the US, there's a lot of house sits. I think Australia have a lot of house sits. Um, anyway, you can look. Um, and you've got a choice of 3,200 sits and you're just a train ride or a, a drive from home, you don't necessarily need the cancellation. You don't necessarily need the alerts on. You could just go on every day and do it manually. So that's why I say the membership isn't as straightforward. Um, you know, the airport lounge part, if you know you're going to, get a year's membership and you definitely want to do some house sitting abroad, that's great that, that you know, I know people that have used the lounge passes and they said it was, it was really nice. So, oh, and the other thing is, if you did just want to join with the basic because say you thought, no, I'm going to try out house sitting first locally, which is a tip for getting your first house sit, we'll get onto that. Um, and you thought, 
yeah, I, I might want to do it in another country. One, I'm not sure. And two, if I do, that's not going to be for another six months. Get the basic, then you can always upgrade and you only pay pro rata for your upgrade. So say you did six months on basic to do your local sits, get your first sit, see if you like it. Then you upgraded to the, you know, premium or standard, and then you only pay for six months worth of premium or standard. So I hope that makes sense because I do tend to waffle and oh my God, this news. Oh my God, I can't believe, I can't, oh my God, I can't contain myself. Oh God, you just wait till I tell you this, what I heard today. I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm going to be sick because it does. Oh, anyway, I'm so sorry. If you're just here for the house sitting and you haven't got a clue who I am and you've never seen any other of my vlogs, I'm really sorry. But it's not good to get some amazing news in the middle of recording a video. Um... Yes, so I'm gonna. So here's the membership. If you just pay full price, I don't know why. One minute they do it monthly because you can't pay monthly. It you have to pay for the year, and then on a, another page they show you it yearly. But but just ignore that. You cannot pay monthly. I think they're just demonstrating it, demonstrating what it works out monthly. Um. But as you can see, that's the discount you get if you use my my link or, as I said, anybody else that's got a Trusted House Sitters membership, they can give you a referrer friend discount of 25% and then your friend gets two months free membership. But I'd really appreciate it if you use mine because I, you know, then that saves me renewing so quickly if I've got some free months added on. Right, I'm going to have to come back to this video. We're going to next talk about how to get your first house set. But I really can't concentrate. I've got to go and phone a friend or my daughter or somebody and scream down the phone at this news. And I'll see you. We'll come back to this. Right, sorry about that. We are back. Sorry about the lighting here. I'm actually in one of those hideous modern villas. You know, you must have seen them around Portugal. They're like just a concrete square. And um, so I've got very good feng shui. I feel like I'm in a commercial building. I have to show you around in the morning. Anyway, um, so applying for house sits and getting your first house sit. First and foremost, the most important thing is a good profile so what is a good profile now to me it's quite obvious that you need a, a good profile and everything to be complete but going by some people's profiles it clearly isn't obvious to everyone so the first thing you do when you set up your photo your profile is you can add photographs so i think you can add about maybe nine photographs, something around there, but make sure you use up the whole quota of photographs. You are going to want to get across to homeowners that are capable and trustworthy and to be able to see you and see you maybe interacting with pets in a photograph as well as read about you is important. So use the photos to reiterate whatever you've written in your profile. Obviously have pictures, uh, I say obviously, but yeah, obviously have pictures of you with pets. If your um, profile, if you've got an individual profile, but you're going to be house sitting, say as a couple, then obviously have pictures of both of you and something about both of you in the profile. Now I'll give you... An example actually of so I was talking to to a homeowner that I was house sitting for and we was just talking about um, you know finding house sits and then finding the house sitter and it being the right match and stuff but she had mentioned um, somebody that had applied for the sit that I was on and her profile pictures because she said they were just all selfies of her and all quite made up you know makeup all done lovely clothes and which i'm sure she looked lovely but but this is a house and pet sitting site so 
The homeowner didn't particularly feel very confident in her capability with pets because there wasn't a single photo of her of an animal or a pet. To me, that's quite obvious. I think to a lot of people it is, but you do see it, you know, too too often in in um, profiles where it's just pictures of people. And also what people will do is, because if they're travellers and people want to house it because of travelling, they put photographs up of their travel. Um, and it's kind of going to make you feel as a homeowner that the person doesn't really care about the pets, it's just there to see the area and have a good time and yeah. So do try and get across with your photographs what you're going to put in your profile. So now the profile. So the next section that you go into when you're filling out your profile, Trusted House Sitters has sections and headings and I think it's, I think the first one is something like, um, or maybe the second one, but why why I want to house it or why do you want to house it? Um, obviously, you're, there's a section for your experience and skills and, but, but use the headings. They've come up with those headings and those sections for a reason. So make sure everything's complete and you're using those headings as a prompt to give the information that's relevant to the heading and the section that it's under. So don't leave anything out, make sure it's complete. If you mention something in your profile, try and have photographs to back that up. For example, I say that I, um, I love horses, I've got experience with horses and I don't mind and I'm keen to do house sits with horses. So I've got a couple of pictures of me with horses to back that up and emphasize that visually as well. If say you wanted to um, mainly do house sits with cats and maybe you've said something to that effect in your profile, make sure you've got pictures of you with cats and don't have all pictures of you with dogs. Um, and anything obviously that demonstrates your um, capabilities and you know just so the homeowners can kind of get a, to know you through the pictures a little bit and then the other thing that you can do in the profile is there's a section where you can add your URL for an Airbnb profile or a link and a LinkedIn profile if you've got those definitely do it I mean if you're a host yourself on Airbnb, obviously that's a great bit of experience and skill to have that matches perfectly with house sitting. But even if you just used Airbnb as a guest and you've got lots of lovely five-star guest reviews, it just shows you have got respect for people's homes and properties and that you're a decent person. It also gives a bit of a verification for you as a person. You know, if you've got a, a, a profile on LinkedIn or Airbnb that's, you know, you can see you've been on there for a few years. Um, not that this would be easy to do, but it is what some people think in their mind. You haven't just set up a profile with fake ID to, in order to get into somebody's house, you know and cause mischief. The next thing and the most important thing is the external references. So what a lot of people will say is, it's really hard to get house sits. How am I gonna be able to get my first house sit because I haven't got any reviews and any feedback from previous sits? Well, you can go into Trusted House Sitters when you're setting up your profile and you can add an email address for somebody who want, who you want to give you a reference. It can be a character reference, an actual reference that um, verifies your skills and experience. I mean, you know, it can be a landlord, a friend, a colleague. You know, if you're a key holder for somebody, they could just give you a character reference to say, yeah, why, why they feel you're a trustworthy person to, you know, hold their spare house keys for them make sure you definitely do do that because they actually show up up, up on trusted house sitters under your profile very similar to your feedbacks right the next thing for getting your first house sit or to be honest getting any house sit is to apply promptly now trusted house sitters have changed the way 
the listings work in that um, once a listing goes up, once five people have applied for it and contacted the homeowner, the listing kind of go, it, it sort of clo it doesn't close. Well, well, it does. It closes to anybody else applying and then it will say in a little badge on the, um, on the listing that the homeowner is reviewing applicants. So this is why when I talked about the membership, the notifications are important um, or can be important, certainly are for Portugal because there isn't the huge volume of sits. In the UK, it really, you have got a lot more time to apply. But with a limited amount of sits and the um, listing shutting off after five people have applied, which really, you know, if people have got the the notifications pinging on their phone, you know, they're going to have their phone with them all the time. They're going to apply it there and then. So you do have to apply promptly. Get yourself a little template message ready. However, do not just cut and paste one generic message to each sit. So that takes us on to the next point, which is your application message as I just said, whatever you do, do not just cut and paste a generic message. Obviously, because I've been house sitting for a long time, there's people that, you know, there's homeowners that have now become friends. There's people that I repeat, repeat house sit for. So, you know, we, we, we talk about house sitting and, and their experience. And then, you know, they give me their honest feedback. And homeowners don't particularly... They're not, it's not that they don't like it. They're just not filled with confidence when they just see a cut and paste message. They feel like they're just one of many that people just aren't really bothered about their pets, their home. They just want a house sit and uh, haven't put too much thought into it. So have yourself a, a, a rough template ready because especially if you've got to apply quickly, but then personalise it. Now you would have... I hope so, read through the listing and made sure that it is a house sit that matches you and is suitable for you and that you would like to do because of what you've read. Um, because that's another thing, I've heard this from homeowners, that they people just send, a, I mean, I'm guessing it's because of this, you have to be quick to apply thing going on, um, that house sitters will just apply send a cut and paste message and then when they get back to them they say well we can't do them dates and, and they think well, why did you apply or it's quite obvious that they've just done a scattergun approach and are just applying without really even looking at the reading the listing don't do that it's just a waste of everybody's time you would have read through the listing and you would have thought yeah that's oh that that's it's you know maybe it's an area you want to explore maybe it's a particular type of pet that you want to spend time with so for example um in the past i've actually it was in the it very much in the um feedback so i often will go to the listing and see what other house sitters have written so just to say about, we talked about reviews and feedback for pet sitters, but it's it's mutual. So you as the pet sitter review the homeowner and the homeowner reviews you because it is a two way thing. And it's not just one party choosing, you're choosing each other. So I was looking at reviews and previous house sitters had said that this dog just loves walking. She can walk all day. So it's like, that is me as well. So in my application message, I just said, oh, I can see, I see that Suki loves her walks. Um, she can walk all day. And I said, well, so can I. So, and I've seen um, in your area that there's lots of hikes. So we will make great companions for one another to enjoy walking while I'm, while I'm doing your sit. That's, you know, that's one of the things I'd like to do while I'm there. Um, even, um, I've been on a, applied for a sit before. Now, I wouldn't usually, but I've applied for the sit where the homeowner kind of wanted you to stay in all day with the pets and really not leave the house at all. Um, expectations may be 
a little bit. But anyway, but that suited me because the previous sit I had, um, it was up in the mountains and there was a dog that liked walking and we'd done lots of trails and lots of walking. And the sit after, I knew I was with a very energetic dog that would be, need lots of walks and there was ex an area I really wanted to explore. So this house, it was in between. And I thought, oh, that suits me just fine. Um, they also had a yoga studio, which was great. So I was happy to spend time in the house, getting on, catching up on work because the previous house sit and the house sit after, I um, was out and about. So I said that, I said that to the homeowners. So yeah, and obviously you're not saying things in your message just to bag, a, bag yourself a sit. If there's a dog that's really energetic and loves hiking, you don't just say, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to going out hiking with the dog if you don't like walking. Right, now some extra little tips for getting your first sit. You know, maybe you want to do house sitting because you want to travel or you want to go far or, you know, further afield. However, just to get your first sit, you could consider just doing a local sit. Now, why that's advantageous is because often homeowners like to have someone local. It kind of like defeats the object and doesn't, you know, it, it would. it's hard for them to find someone lo local because normally people are house sitting because they want accommodation outside of where they live. But homeowners would like that. So if you see a house sit come up locally, apply for that just for your first house sit. It's great for you because you haven't got far to go. As I say, homeowners do like to have somebody local. So you're have got more so you have got more chance of getting chosen. So consider that. Um, also consider maybe a sit that isn't so desirable. Maybe it's in an area that's not hasn't got too much going for it so it's not very attractive to many other house sitters um but do that one as your first sit maybe it's a very short sit i mean i literally have seen people put house sits on for one night i mean maybe they're just actually i say maybe i think often they are because i can see they've got no feedback and maybe they're just trying it trying it out you know um their first little experience with trusted house sitters. Um, but yeah, sometimes people have one or two nights. They're not greatly popular. So do one of those. As I said, just pick a sit that maybe is more about just getting your first reference than getting, than doing, you know, a really desirable sit and having that great house, in, house sitting experience that you want. But just maybe get a couple under your belt like that. Another thing is be um, possibly, unfortunately, you know, circumstances change. Sometimes homeowners do get let down um, from a house sitter. So obviously, if they've been let down, um, they might be, it might be more important for them to have somebody with um, past reviews. But then again, they may find themselves, it's now really last minute. So if you can step in, do say in your message, you know, I'm new to trusted house sitters. Don't sort of skirt over it. Point it out that you're, you know, you're not new to being a helpful, pet caring, responsible person that's capable of doing, doing the, the house sit. You're just new to the platform. So, you know, so mention that. And the other big one, at the, this, if you're watching this video in November, which we're in now, is Christmas sits. Now, obviously, at Christmas is a time when many people go away. So there's obviously many more sits. So one, you've got a better volume of sits over Christmas. Two, um, often... You know, Christmas is the same for everybody. So house sitters themselves may want to go and spend time with family and friends and they want to have their special Christmas as well. So they are not available 
to house sit. So Christmas is a really good time to get your first sit if you, I mean, it should, it really shouldn't be a problem. If you've got a good profile and you, do, uh, and you write a good um, initial application message, it really shouldn't be a problem. But if you are struggling, then Christmas is a good time to get in there. There's a large volume of sits and yeah, it's just, a, just a good, good opportunity. Right, so just a quick summary, you know, of getting your first sit, good profile, apply quickly, don't cut and paste, you, you know, have a generic cut and paste message, make so, sure you write a nice personalised message, consider less attractive sits, consider local sits, and Christmas is a great time and a busy time to get your first sit. I think that's it. And um, if you do start house sitting and let me know when you get your first house sitting, how it goes, as some of you already have. I love to hear that you've been encouraged to start house sitting. Have fun.